it's TX Stampin' Sharon. I am back with another Mystery Monday. It is Monday, July the 19th, and I am live at 4 p.m. Central. I hope that you will join us at this time every Monday. We have a lot of fun. I was sitting here uh, chatting with everybody before we went live. Um, you know, we're like a little community. We're like a family. We're a stamping family. And we all check on each other and, you know, get updates on what's going on in people's lives. And it's super fun. So I want to welcome everyone that's here. We've got people from all over the United States. We've got people from um, Denmark. We've got, I saw, I saw another country. Was it, um, it wasn't Australia. Where was it? Ah, another country, and I can't find it now. Um, but I have Denise in Dallas, so there you go. There's my fellow Texan. I just love having stamping friends all over the world. Join us each week for Mystery Monday Stamping. You're going to be using the supplies that you have on hand. I have the first clue posted below the video. So if you're not familiar with um, Mystery Monday Stamping, you can copy those clues, go get your supplies, Stop and start the video and have fun making a card. This week's card is pretty cute. I was looking, I do this at noon on my Facebook page and then I repeat it again on my YouTube channel. And so I was glancing at some of the other cards that people had already shared. And it's one of those layouts that anything goes. You could make it whatever you want. You can just do you, okay? Um, well, hello, Diane from Missouri. It's her first time. I hope that you have fun. There is one rule to mystery stamping. Don't stress. If you get lost on a clue or you don't quite understand, you know, what my clue means, just go rogue. Just make a card and have fun, okay? You've got lots of support here from, each, from everybody else. Um, some of these ladies have been with me since the very beginning. Um, since I started doing you, uh, mystery stamping on YouTube, and some of them have been with me since I opened it up last March uh, when COVID hit, because I felt like everybody needed to be inspired to stamp. So that's why I do Mystery Monday stamping. So I hope it inspires you, and I hope that you have a blast. So um, Renee says, speaking of keeping updated, my hours will be changed and that will take me away from her, my lives. Oh, Renee, that's awful. <laughs> well, thanks for the heads up because I would have been reaching out to you and saying, where are you? I haven't seen you, what's going on? So um, they tried to guess what we're gonna do. Some of you ladies, some of you stampers tried to Oh, let's see, what is she gonna have us do? I think I'll just make the card and see if I'm close. And that's okay too, if that's what you wanna do with that first clue, so. Um, okay, Renee is willing to do cards for kids again, starting again in September. Renee, I've had people asking, I've had people asking, are we gonna do the cards for kids again? We had such a response to that. Oh, Renee, help me with the numbers. Did we have? 1,300 cards, 250 bookmarks. Ah, I know Renee will give me the updates. I know she'll give me the numbers. It was such a great um, thing to, to send cards to. You could send any amount. We all kind of pledged 10, but some of you, some of you sent like 160 and it was, it was very well received. I still haven't heard from them. I need to, I need to go check my Twitter account. I don't do that often. Um, but yes, you're right, Bay. We will miss Renee being with us live. Okay, we have about 90 people with us. Um, you know that Sharon always has a surprise in store for us. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I have been working this afternoon on the mystery, well, I started this morning, the mystery cards for the Creative 8 retreat that is August the 14th. I have had so much fun. So I'm making other samples. So I will be sharing other samples. And for those of you who don't join us during the retreat for the actual live mystery stamping, um, you can still sign up for the retreat and you will be emailed all 10 projects. And each project has at least three 
if not more samples. So you're gonna end up with like 40 to 50 or more um, inspiration ideas to use with your supplies at home. Um, I will be emailing out all the tutorials and the videos on the Monday after uh, the, the retreat. So that would be August the 16th. So it will be a super fun event. I hope you'll join us. If you have not already registered, you can do that below the video. Now, if you're on, what was I on the other day? I was on my phone looking at something on YouTube and I didn't see the show more button. I always tell you guys to look below the video um, for the show more button. So if you, ah, I was pretty close. Okay, Renee gave us the update. 1,387 cards. 217 bookmarks. There you go. That's what we did for Cards for Kids. So I need to go back and figure out how you see below the video, but below the video, there's a lot of information. There's the first clue. There's how to contact me. There's how to sign up for my newsletter, which I email out that first clue every Sunday at 3 p.m. And then, um, I mean, if you need a catalog, we have a new catalog kicking off on August the 3rd. So there's all kinds of stuff below that video. So if you're watching me on your phone, maybe you know how, and you can tell us here in the chat, how to see below the video because I couldn't do it on my phone. I normally either look on my iPad or my desktop or laptop. So there you go. All right, let's switch cameras here. I think, oh, Brenda is excited about the upcoming um, retreat. Um, Diane says, I've been watching you since the bed. I was in the bed. You were in the bed. You're watching me in the bed. Is that what you're doing? Am I on your TV? <laughs> okay. Renee, Renee is saying it shows more under your number description and date. Okay. There you go, guys. So if you're on a phone, like an iPhone or an Android, um, that's how you find all that other information. So. Hello, Nancy. She's just watching today. She just got home from camping. How fun was that? I hope you had a really good time. Um, okay, let's let's change cameras. So, there's the first clue. We have that that we've already talked about. Um, again, today is okay. So on Vay's phone, she said there's an arrow to the right. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I knew you guys could help us out. Um, that's what mystery stamping is all about, helping each other. Clue number two, I want you to add the three inch by five inch, five and a half inch designer series paper with adhesive towards the left side of your card base. Leave about one quarter of an inch on that side, okay? So I want you to add that with adhesive and when you're done with clue number two, type done two. Um, so Sue Wall says there's a tiny down arrow near Sharon's name. Okay, perfect. And Renee is adding that you may have to click on the arrow to open it. Thank you guys. Okay, so Diane says beginning but first time stamping. Okay, gotcha. I was like, in bed? Who's in bed? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because it's something I would have typed. <laughs> okay. Miata says it's the drop down arrow to the right of the video. Okay. So on a desktop or laptop, it's right under the video, but on mobile devices, it's different. So there you go. Thanks everybody for helping us out. So Beth, my buddy Beth down the road here in Texas, she is done with clue number two. I love what Kim Morrow says at the beginning. She says, fun, 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 and no stress. That's what mystery stamping is. I want you all to remember that. You just, just have fun. And Floyd was waiting to have fun. I'm going back and reading some of the uh, chats that I missed. Ove, you're talking about the baby and the medical science and what it can do. I mean, that's just amazing. I'm so glad to hear that the baby is thriving. That's awesome. Oh, 
<laughs> Renee did her card too ahead of time. She's going to see how far away she is. <laughs> you know, last week's cards, you guys blew me out of the water. Those of you who posted in my um, Sharon's Mystery Stamping, uh, Mystery Stampers Facebook page or on my Sharon Armstrong Stampin' Up! Business page blew me out of the water with what you guys did. You did a fabulous job with last week's mystery clues. I was so impressed. You know, at first when I did it, I thought, oh, this is really a plain layout. But you guys, you guys nailed it, took it to, to levels that I was like, ooh, I want to case that card. <laughs> All right, clue number three. Add the colored cardstock that measures two inches by five and a half in the center of the DSP layer with adhesive. When you add that layer, make sure that you either start at the top or the bottom as you add it so that it lines up and you don't have a little bitty bit hanging over the edge. That can happen, just saying. Yeah, Sue is telling Renee, hopefully you're in the ballpark this time. We do have a hashtag, hashtag Mystery Monday Stamping. If you post your uh, projects, your cards on say Instagram or something, um, I try to go look. I'm gonna go look at Twitter right now to see if um, Cards for Kids reached out to us because by now they should have. All right, when you're done with clue number three, type done three. The question is, when I look at Twitter, okay, Renee, do you know this answer? How do I know if somebody's contacted me? I see a bunch of notifications, but I don't know. These are just things that people have posted. See, I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn all the social media, but it's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here. All right, I think you guys are done with three. Hi, Darlene from Illinois. Okay, this is card, this is clue number 3B because I numbered it twice and I didn't change it. What the heck? It's just a clue. So when you're done with clue number 3B, that's what you're going to type. Adhere the different colored card stock that measures one and three quarters by five and a half to the previous colored card stock layer with adhesive. Again, remembering my tip about lining it up at the top or the bottom so that you don't have that just a smidge hanging off. Hello, Jackie, we're glad you're here. I hope that you're stamping with us. Lynn is just watching, hopefully we'll do later. She's still at work, ugh, that's awful. Uh-oh, are you saying that you lost sound? Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my sound. Caught you on the lab the first time. Well, hi, Eileen, glad you're back. Lynn is, yeah, Rhonda, I hear sound, so it must be on your end. Okay, so Renee's not a Twitter person, so I have absolutely no clue. The site just said if we include your Twitter address, they will add it to a post or something Twittery. Oh, something Twittery. Okay. Okay, Brenda says it sounds good in Texas. Okay, so I'm assuming if... I, yay, Jackie, I'm glad you're stamping too.
you would think that I would get some kind of notification. Okay, so I'm going to search for my Twitter handle and see if something Twittery is out there about me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Hi, Betty from the from UP of Minnesota, the upper part of Minnesota. Is that what that means? Mary Youngblood says loud and clear in Arizona. Helen is making dinner, hoping to stamp later, and she says the sound is fine. Okay, I think you guys are done with 3B. Clue number four. Okay, Sue has been following Cards for Kids on Twitter and hasn't seen any posts yet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sue. All right, clue number four. Stamp on the basic white layer that measures one and five, one and five eighths by five and a half with long images or an assortment of smaller images. Color those images now if they need to be colored. Um, and I, the first, I have two cards to share with you guys. The first card I did, I used small images that didn't need to be colored. So that's when I wrote the clues and that's when I posted them. And then I kept looking at the layout and um, then I um, decided I wanted to make another card. And on that one, I did need to color. And on that one, I used a longer image. So up to you, however, whatever stamps you have chosen. Sue says they usually show a few cards and name who they are done by. Well, Sue, I hope they don't say all those are done by me because they certainly weren't. So you're saying you follow them on Twitter. Um, search Twitter for cards for kids. Look at me learning about Twitter. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I see the cards. You know, this is a great place for us to look at the next time, Renee, because um, they are showing like some of the verbiage that is, you know, like the encouragement for the cards. Like I'm assuming maybe the front of this card might have sailboats and it says something about the direction of the wind. It's kind of cut off, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. This is, we need to check this out the next time. I'm not seeing any of our cards, but we'll keep an eye on that. So there you go. I'm sure they get so many cards. They, <laughs> they has y'all been really added to the dictionary? Yes, I have heard that because you know what? It was about time. You know, Texans and Southerners have said y'all since the beginning of time. So there you go. Okay, Jan says Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Okay, Brenda is back with her sound. And Brenda Loveless says, one good thing that came out of the pandemic was all the stamping friends meeting over Facebook and YouTube from all over the US, Canada, and many other countries. Brenda, I could not have said it any better myself because I didn't do mystery stamping for the world. And look how many of you I have met through doing this. And I, I could not agree with that statement anymore. That's perfect. Very well said. Thank you. So true. Okay, so I'm seeing a couple duns with four. There's 120 of you on now. So let's make sure that um, Naja is done with um, 3B. Okay, so this stamping, you know, this, this step may take some of you longer, may take some of you less time. Some of you may be coloring. Some of you, we just don't all stamp the same, you know, period. And it's kind of a long skinny piece of paper. So you just take your time, don't stress. Oh, and by the way, did I, did I talk about going rogue? I think I did. If you get lost on a clue, just go rogue. Just make your card. Just be happy in your own little space and make your card. 
Renee says when we chat soon, we will talk about pictures and stuff so that we can make a new PDF for the next time around. Yes, we learned so much the first time we did it, which I think we did pretty good considering it was our first time. Um, but we also learned more along the way. So yes, oh, it sure did get cloudy and stormy looking outside of my room. Okay guys, if, you, if I lose you because of the storms, because we know, we know what happens with my internet, I will try my best to jump back on. So, oh, I did, I, we were not expecting storms. That is, mm, that's ugly. Not that we don't need rain, but that's a bad looking storm. Okay, how are we doing on four? Angie says, amen to love the groups. I know it's been so much fun. You know, those who were not home all the time didn't have time to do social media. And now so many people have been stuck at home and the, the comments and the messages that I receive about how much of a blessing it has been to have mystery stamping because guys, it's free. I don't charge to do this. You just use the supplies you have and you know, it has helped people be inspired and gives them something to look forward to. And you know what? We all need hope these days, right? And so anything that we can do to give us um, sunshine in our day, let's take it. Mary says, it has stormed every day here for a month. Mary, you're in Arizona. What part of Arizona again? Because my friend sent me a picture of uh, the road in Sierra Vista where I used to live. I was shocked. It was like a river down her street and it was rushing. So, so scary. Monsoon season, monsoon season is stunning. The most stunning light shows I have ever seen in my life. But boy, it, <laughs> it rains a lot during monsoon season. Now, one year I was there and it didn't hardly rain at all. So, uh, it sounds like this year it's making up for it. Helen says, this group has helped me get through the shutdown. I'm back at work now and I miss it. Well, Helen, we're glad that we were there for you during the shutdown and you know that this video will stay here forever. So I hope that you will hop on as often as you can and make a card following the clues. Okay, so that's right, you're in Safford. So yeah, Safford wasn't too far from me. Um, I do know where that is. But yeah, I mean, monsoon rains, whew. Well, I hope that you are safe and I hope that you're not anywhere near any flooding. And Bay says that y'all need so, y'all need rain so bad in Minnesota. I know so many parts of the country are just getting um, so much rain and then some of us, you know, some are not. Vicki, Arizona does have monsoons. The first year I moved there, it was in May and my yard was brown and I was like, I guess I will never see green grass again. I live in the desert. And someone said, oh honey, just wait till monsoon. And I was like, <laughs> bless their hearts. It rains a little bit and they think it's a monsoon. Oh no, I was wrong. It's a monsoon. Comes in from the Pacific and it goes through Arizona. Yep. Monsoon season. Okay, you guys are done with four. Clue number five. Now add that stamped basic white layer to the center of the colored cardstock with liquid glue if needed because you have a very thin border around your uh, basic white cardstock. Um, well, hello, Claudia from Michigan in the Lower Peninsula. And Patricia Zepp says, I wish I could send y'all some of our rain. Yep. Oh, and Kathy has had rain in Alabama several days again. And um, Just Country Girl, I like that name, <laughs> says it, it, it has rained every single day here in South Louisiana for the last 16 days. We've gotten right at 14 inches. And you know, Louisiana is, mm, that's not good for Louisiana. That's not good for Louisiana. Um, Kate says, we are bone dry here in California. Fire's going on again. Water rationing, it's not pretty. Uh, my friend in California told me the same thing, Kate, and that is so sad. Especially the water rationing, that's scary. The, uh, Utah is having the same problem. Um, 
And Claudia says, even the highways in Detroit, Michigan were flooded terribly last week. Wow. <laughs> Vicki Trevino with your cute little cowboy hat. <laughs> when you guys are done with clue number five, type done five. I know some of y'all saw the cute little picture of me and my grandson, Baylor. Um, he had on his little onesie that his Mimi bought him that says, hey y'all. And then I had on my hey y'all shirt. My husband said, go put your shirt on. I was like, oh yeah. But um, I bought him an 18 months uh, onesie and his little chunky thighs, I bet he doesn't wear that thing very long because he is such a chunk. And he's only nine months, well, 10 months old. He's 10 months old. Okay, Kathy is done with four, four and five. Done with five, done with five. Uh, Brenda, are your rivers full 64 inches so far this year? Your rivers are full, Brenda? Not understanding. Clue number six, stamp your sentiment on a basic white scrap. Cut to size with your paper trimmer or use dies or punches. <clears throat> Trudy is um, enjoying rain in the Ozarks. Is that what that means? Ozarks after years of drought and no water. In the Ozarks? Surely not. Tell me what the OZ means. Um, yeah. Oh, Denise, he is very huggable. And I... My daughter took a, a video. He normally doesn't snuggle anymore. He's too busy. But he had just gotten up from his nap and I was sitting out on the uh, patio rocking and, I, and she brought him to me while she fixed his bottle. And he just laid his head on my shoulder and just, he sat there forever. And I was just holding his little head and we were rocking. So she took a short video. Um, if I can figure out where to post it, I'll share it. But it was so sweet. Of course, she couldn't open the door. He would have moved. So it's through the window. So it's not as clear, but it still captured that precious moment because, he, like I said, he's too busy to be, um, to be snuggling. Ah, Australia. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I was like, now in the Ozarks in, in the United States, I'm sure that we have had, y'all have had rain. So uh, OZ means New Zealand. Okay. And you know what? Is it OZ or QZ? Yeah, OZ. Okay, why is OZ New Zealand? Why do they have it that way? What does that <laughs> I'm confused. This this Texan's confused. Okay. I'm seeing some duns with six. Let me see just a few more since we have about 112 on. Brenda says Austin is getting rain as we chat. Yeah, Brenda, I'm in I'm in um I'm in Kyle and it's looking pretty dark out there. Looks like the wind is picking up. Okay, let me see a few more duns with six. Okay, so Dot says OZ is Australia. OZ is Australia. There's Gail, there's my, there's my Aussie. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. If you need me to repeat clue number six, let me know. Now I want you to stamp your image on basic white scrap. Punch out or use dies. If it needs to be colored, do that now. My first one, I didn't color, like I said. I just, it, my uh, stamps did not need to be colored. Um, but my second one did, so if you need to color your image. Okay, so Vicki says part of Australia has had a drought area. Okay, now I'm clear, gotcha. NZ is New Zealand. Okay, Dot, thank you. Mary says she's gonna have to call her brother in Round Rock to see if he's getting rain. I bet he is. Round Rock is north of Austin, so. All right, when you're done with clue number seven, type done seven. I just wanna make sure we get through this mystery stamping because of the storm. <laughs> 
So I don't mean to rush you guys. I promise. I'm not trying to rush. Um, hi, Alfie. I'm from Guilip, Ontario, Canada, and I'm sorry I'm a bit late, but I hope I can catch the replay later as I'm outside in her bathing suit. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Watching me on while she's outside in her bathing suit. I haven't had that one, Elfie. That's cute. <gasps> Bay says she likes this already. Okay, I'm glad. I'm so glad you like it, Bay. Okay, so I'm seeing some duns with seven. I'm going to just, um, thank you. My nails are glittery again. I'm just gonna set this clue right here because we wanna make sure we get through. Clue number eight. Add the image stamp with dimensionals to the card front. You may decide to off-center it from the layers or you may decide to add it to the layers. Whatever you want to do. Oh, okay, Brenda. So they are full from the reins. Gotcha. So that is clue number eight. When you're done with eight, type done eight. And Gloria loves this card. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, Angie loves her card. Okay, that was a big lightning. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Elfie says, I don't know what time you do mystery stamping or I would have waited. Um, Elfie, okay, so you're in Canada. Um, are you on the Eastern time zone? I, I go live at 4 p.m. Central. So if you're Eastern, that would be 5 p.m. But you enjoy your, your sunning. You have a fun time, girlfriend. You can watch the replay. Okay, so I'm seeing that you're done with eight. If you're not done with eight, I'm just gonna set it right here to remind you of what to do. If your sentiment layer needs to be matted, you can do that now. Otherwise, add it to the card front with dimensionals. Something that what I was reminded of, if you don't want to add a layer, you could sponge the edges of your sentiment layer, if it's a big one or whatever, and you can hold it well. Um, that's another thing that you can do with that sentiment layer. Okay, so yeah, Elfie, you're Eastern, so it would be 5 p.m. your time. Claire says, same as me, I'm in Simcoe, Ontario. This is such fun. Claire, are you in your bathing suit too? <laughs> I've had people watching me on TV, but I've not had people watching me in their swimsuits. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are taking it up a notch. All right, when you're done with clue number nine, type done nine. Claire says, no, no. <laughs> She's not in her swimsuit. <laughs> okay, here's the reins. All right, we're almost done. We've got this. We're on the home stretch. I am going to go to clue number 10 really quickly. Now I want you to add ribbon, twine, or embellishments. You look at your card, and if you think your card needs anything, this is the time to add it. Uh, thank you, Gloria. She is saying to give me the thumbs up. Those of you who are watching this mystery stamping, if it is not your typical video, um, it is where I inspire you to make cards and um, using the supplies that you have. Repeat number five. Number five. Clue number five was to add the stamped basic white layer to the center of the cardstock with liquid glue if needed, since there's a very thin border. Okay. Ah, oh, Ruth's in her pajamas. There you go. Yeah, heard the thunder, didn't ya? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fighting out there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mary's in her PJs too. We should have a pajama stamping, uh, mystery stamping next time. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and reveal because of the storm, I wanna get through this card. So I'm gonna show you my first card. Um, Jean is just, she's getting ready for company and she is just taking a break between chores. So this was my first card. Let me get that in the camera. So I just stamped the trees and then I stamped the reindeer and I used the cute punch. Now this punch and this stamp set, Peaceful Deer, will be available August the 3rd in the new mini catalog. And okay, so if you got behind at number seven, you're gonna watch the replay, okay? Cause I'm really worried about losing power. So you can get this cute bundle um, in the mini catalog that starts August 3rd. And then, so that was my card, okay? And this designer series paper is Celebration, free, de free designer series paper. So there you go. Vicki says she would come to a pajama party, a pajama card party, okay? All right, and so then the next one I used, our next card I made was this one. And I used designer series paper and the stamp set that will also be featured in the mini catalog that starts August 3rd. But I also pulled in an oldie, an old friend. I pulled in Dragonfly Garden and I stamped the dragonfly on the designer series paper um, and didn't have to color it. So how easy is that? So there you go. So these are my two cards. And if you're part of my mystery stampers group on Facebook, you can uh, take a picture of your card. If you do not have the new mini catalog or you have not, let's put it this way, if not ordered from me um, in the past nine months, um, you can request a free mini catalog. You can go to my website um, and you can click below the video or beside the video, whatever device you're on. And then, um, you can uh, request a, a whichever catalog you need there. So, okay, we're gonna flip the camera. Um, I was so close, finally. Oh, look at Renee, she guessed and she was so close. Um, Jan says storms came through um, Fredericksburg about four, was over quickly. Okay, so that's probably the same storm that we're getting. Um, we were in Fredericksburg last weekend Thank you, Angie. I'm glad you love your card, my cards. And Anna did the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. Jan loved both of them. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hate that we have to cut this short. I'll just keep talking until it turns us off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that you will join me Thursday night when I go live um, at 7 p.m. Central. Um, I have a really cute Christmas card. We're going to kick it off. We got to get started on those holiday cards and it's Christmas in July starting Thursday night here in the craft room. So there you go. So, oh, <laughs> May says, I think I went a little rogue. That's okay. Rogue is always, rogue is always encouraged. Um, Sue says, again, two beautiful cards. Gail says, great card, Sharon, especially the dragonfly. I think I think everybody enjoyed the dragonfly one. So, all right, guys, I'm going to shut it down because I think Mother Nature is going to do it for me soon. There's the thunder again. So anyway, you guys take care. Have a great week. Stay safe and have these 